Hi, I'm Gary Starr with Zap, and this is our Alias, which is a fully working, drivable electric vehicle, complete with motor drive and all the safety features you would need in a car and that are required for the X Prize. So, this is the electronic drive selector. When you're ready to go, you move it from neutral to drive. When you're ready to go in reverse, you move it from drive to neutral to reverse. The controller also has built-in regenerative braking, as you can see here. We can also control the amount of regenerative braking we have depending on road conditions and hill conditions. So if we want more regen, we can add more regen. This both allows the motor drive to slow the vehicle and also allows some of the energy to be recovered from the motor back into the batteries. It actually turns the motor into a generator. The vehicle, on top of having regenerative braking, has conventional brakes that are actually power assisted brakes. Also has a conventional emergency brake that you act engage by pulling it up. And you release by pressing the button and putting down. This is the accelerator. When you hit the accelerator, you're sending a signal to the controller. The controller then reads the difference that you're, of the signal you're sending and allows more energy to flow from the batteries through the controller to the motor. Um, when you step on the accelerator, um, sends a signal to the controller to allow more power from the batteries to go through the controller to the motor. And this is the gearbox that then transfers the motor RPMs to the drive, driving wheels. The batteries <coughs> are located under the center of the vehicle in a completely enclosed container. So, both the driver and the occupants are separate from the batteries, yet the batteries are completely enclosed. They are also located in the center of the vehicle, so you have optimal driving conditions and optimum center of gravity for performance. We also have inside the battery container various safety devices, including voltage regulation, and thermal control systems. We also have an emergency disconnect switch as you can see in this slide. So if you're ever working on the vehicle or if there ever is a situation you need to totally cut all power from the batteries to the controller you simply pull the switch.